protect your form against bots. If you're getting a ton of spam messages from the contact form on your website, chances are that bots are hitting it with fake entries. That's a big issue nowadays even for small and little known websites as bots crawl and look for non-secure contact forms so they can send you out spam and even malware links. Some forms can even be abused to send out spam to other people. What this means is that spam is not just an annoyance, it could actually pose real danger to your web security and reputation. The best way to take care of this problem is to implement CAPTCHA protection on all the forms on your website. CAPTCHA stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. Wow, what a great acronym, right? Sites typically have at least one form and that's the contact form, so you probably have one too. And here's how you can secure it. Adding CAPTCHA on your form largely depends on the contact form plugin you're using. But the bottom line is that they all support Google's free reCAPTCHA service. And if for some wild reason yours doesn't, you should drop it completely and use an alternative. The most popular contact form plugins are WP Forms and Contact Form 7. Of course, they both support Google's reCAPTCHA service, so it all comes down to registering for it and then entering your keys in the settings of the plugin. The first thing you want to do is go to Google's reCAPTCHA setup page. You should log in with your Google account or register one. Once logged in, go to the V3 admin console. There, click the plus sign at the right corner to register a new site. Enter a label, which is just for your own personal reference, and select the reCAPTCHA type, V2 or V3. Comparing the two versions is a long topic, but basically, V3 is supposed to provide a seamless experience and is designed to identify bots based on their behavior on the website, which generates a spam score. However, its effectiveness has been somewhat questionable, so we recommend using reCAPTCHA V2 with the invisible reCAPTCHA badge, and then if that still doesn't filter out the spam submissions, you should switch to the reCAPTCHA V2 with the I'm not a robot checkbox. For the purpose of this video and just show you how the process works, we'll use the good old I'm not a robot checkbox V2. Contact Form 7 dropped support for the reCAPTCHA V2 back in December 2018, so if that's the form plugin you're using, you'd have no other option but to go with Google's reCAPTCHA V3. And all you'd have to do is just paste your site key and secret key. After registering, you should see a page with the keys for your website. You need to copy the site key and secret key. Then, switch back to your WordPress site to paste these keys into the corresponding fields of your contact form plugin. In the case of WP Forms, this option is under the Plugins Settings menu, Capture tab. There, select the reCAPTCHA service, set the type to checkbox reCAPTCHA v2 and paste your site key and secret key in the corresponding fields below. Now that you've set up your reCAPTCHA keys, you'll be able to add a reCAPTCHA to any of your WP forms. To do that, go and edit your form, settings menu, and put a check next to Enable Google Checkbox V2 reCAPTCHA. You can also deactivate the Enable Anti-Spam as that's the plugin's own anti-spam protection and we don't really need both services to interfere with each other. Now you should reload your contact page and you should be able to see the reCAPTCHA checkbox. If you're not seeing it, you should check your keys to make sure they've been entered correctly. Thanks for watching this video.